welcome friends uh, to this is the third video so in this part we will create our uh, project and we'll create the app.js file that's the first file we will work on okay so i'll go with the empty project here in my ide so let's name it mm, node api and hit enter so it's a, it's a blank project has nothing in it so once you're logged in there open the terminal and make sure you're inside that particular path and here you have to type npm in it okay just initialize your project so the package name is node api version is one description is rest api node.js entry point i'll use app.js test command nothing get repo nothing keywords nothing author is me license is fine this is okay yes so we will get our package.json file here okay it has all the data that we just entered in the command prompt okay, let's let me clear this okay so in the scripts what i'll do i'll first use the start that's npm or notemon app.js so i'm using notemon so that i don't have to restart my server each and every time and this is installed globally in my system okay the command to install globally is npm install hyphen g then the name of the package like this okay perfect so close this i will right click at the root of my project and go to new javascript file name it app.js okay so this is a blank pro blank file and has nothing in it so we need to uh, include few packages the first package that we are going to use is express so const express and the way you import a package in node.js is using a variable name you can name it anything you like and then equals to then the then the required statement and the package name so express that's the package and you see i'm getting a squiggly here that says module is not installed that says uh, install express so this is my ide's functionality that is giving me this hint to install express and if i click this it will automatically install express for me so for the first time i'm going to show you how you can install packages using command line in your project so i'll use npm install then the package name all right so you don't need to use the save flag like this it was in the previous versions of node or M npm so not by right now by default it will save it in your project and in the package.json file so if i hit enter it will start downloading the package give a few seconds okay once it's done it should go away see and the remaining quiz quigglies are shown is because i need to enable my node.js coding assistance so this is specific to webstorm or any JetBrains ide so once i do that and i hit okay that should be good next thing that we require is morgan it's another package that will help us uh, with the uh, what do you call console log output so whenever you hit a route it will show you there in the console okay so again you see a squiggly here so uh, this time i'll use my ide's functionality so i'll install morgan with npm and it will be present here okay in the package.json file so let me just show you how morgan works so first of all uh, we need to create an app okay so let's create an app const app this will be express and we call it as a function 
next what we want to use we want to add some middleware so so these are all middlewares okay morgan and cars all these are all the various middlewares that make our life easier so first middleware is morgan so how do you use it you use app dot use and then the name of the middleware so we are using first of all we'll use express dot dot json okay so that we can get the uh, body using the in the json format and next i'm gonna use morgan okay so app dot use morgan and i'll use dev so dev is the development uh development whatever environment okay so if you go to the browser here and type mark morgan npm so here okay so here you see yeah if i scroll down yeah so the way you use it is like this app to use more than the environment name that should be on so you have uh, dev then i believe you have uh, production as well uh, let me check here yeah combined is one of the keywords and common is another one and we have dev and we have short so tiny short dev common and combined okay so next what we want here is uh is another middleware named course so this is a uh, course stands for cross origin resource sharing so this allows you to share your resources uh, across various origins so by default if my backend is running on port 5000 uh, I mean HTTP localhost port 5000 so if it gets a request from any other URL it will simply block it so with course uh, we can allow resource sharing across uh, different origins right so I'll put course here app dot use course and i'll not pass any options but you can definitely do that you can pass in options here like uh, origin and all so you can refer to the course documentation here it's github page or in the npm page all right so now let's start our server all right so we'll use app dot listen and it takes a port number so port, my port number will be 5000 you can choose any port that is available in your machine and this will give me a callback function and i'll say console.log server running on port 5000 okay and they will uh remove this hard coded value later on and we'll store it in a config file all right let's see if this works or not let's see okay it says uh, node one is not available let me install it or i can use node app.js also okay say server running on port 5000 i don't have any uh routes as if now but i can create one test route app dot get this is my default route and request response will say got the response we'll send it okay request dot send okay let's see console log 
got the request from default route save it and you need to restart the server each time you make any change and now if i go to my postman op open a new tab here and say http localhost 5000 hit enter see it says got the request from default route all right but you see that my morgan did not work and why is it it should work I have app.get for so my route is working well we'll see that so we'll troubleshoot this later okay but we have our uh, initial structure created we will build upon this we'll add many more middlewares many more functions here we'll load routes we'll create different folder structure here okay so we'll continue on that from the next video this was just to start the project and show you how you can run your server with only few lines of code even if you don't use these middlewares it will still work okay all right so i'm gonna end this video now and in the next video we'll continue working on this app.js file we'll add some routes in a different routes folder and we'll create the folder structure first of all all right so till then uh stay tuned and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video and share that with your friends all right i'll see you in the next video till then take care and enjoy it bye bye